I'm fine. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm out here in Saudi Arabia and I'm delighted to be joined by Junior Farr. He's got a very, very tough fight ahead of him against Frank Sanchez. Uh, first and foremost, though, how are you enjoying Saudi Arabia? Oh, man. Being treated like a king, man. And it's uh, very different for me because I'm not usually getting treated like this. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. Me neither. I've already been here a day and I'm feeling like a king myself. But, yeah, you've got a tough fight in your hands. And when I spoke to Frank, he was obviously Spanish and English. There was limited. But what his main message was get through you because he believes he's the best heavyweight on the planet. So you're up against a very, very tough opponent. Um, so what kind of fight are we expecting from yourself? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be fighting a sensible fight and I'm going to you know, take the chances when I need to. Uh, he's a very good boxer. You know, I've, 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 I've said it countless times before, he's, he's very good at what he does. Um, I just need to stick to my game plan, execute that to a T, and then I, I believe that I will come away with the win. You've obviously been in with Joseph Parker and Lucas Brown. You've been in with the top guys in the division right now. Are you Frank's toughest opponent to date? For him? Uh, well, I'm thinking about his record. He's fought Effie Jagbo and stopped Effie Jagbo, but I believe, other than you, do you believe that, other than Effie, sorry, do you believe that you're his toughest opponent? Yeah. Mm. 100%. I mean, like, you know, I've, 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 I've prepared for this diligently, so, you know, I'm, 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 I'm prepared to take him out. Obviously, you've had, what, less than a round in probably a year and a half. Um, that's, a, that's a little bit of ring rust there, if any. Do you believe in that? And if so, uh, how's your preparation been for this, though? Because, like I say, a, less than a round in a year and a half is not ideal as a fighter, as you well know. But how's your preparation been for this fight? It's been very good. It's been very specific because of the time that we were given. Uh, we, didn't give, give, uh, we, we weren't given too much notice. So, you know, everything that we've done has been very, very specific to the game plan. Um, and it's been pretty cool. It's been pretty cool to kind of uh, to kind of experience a short camp like this, you know, uh, on on such a massive card. So you know, we're gonna see how that plays out on the night. I I I, I feel ready. I feel good. And uh, at at this point, you know, I've, I've been away from home for a while. So right now, I'm just very very excited, and I'm, and and I just can't wait to basically get in there and do my thing. I heard that you you were out sparring and being in the camp with Deontay Wilder. Now, one thing I'm never ever in my life going to get the privilege to to see or feel is that right hand. Yeah. You've had the privilege to feel Deontay Wilder's right hand. How hard does he hit? Thank goodness I haven't actually felt the full <laughs> <laughs> thing about that, man. I'm, I'm I'm definitely smarter than that. <laughs> so, like, you know, I definitely know what he possesses, and 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 I basically treat him as such. Um, you know, I just keep my like, you know space I, I keep things smart and inspiring because he's 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 a like like you know he's the most dangerous dude on the planet man the guy can hurt mm. you know he's he's basically fought everyone so um yeah no nah, he's 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 very good at what he does he's very good at the timing with his right hand and basically everything um every punch that he sets up he's 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 very good and it's it's been very very good sparring for me because uh because with a guy like that you need to be switched on all the time and that's exactly what I need to do against my uh, fight on, on, on the night too. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just I, I need to be switched on for the whole fight. And then I'll come away with the win. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I said it was a privilege to get hit with that right hand. Maybe that was the wrong choice of word there. But <laughs> I couldn't really think of anything off the top of my head there. But yeah, Deontay Wilder, I'll talk about the main card. Because like, it's a heavyweight, heavy card. And they'll be remiss of me not to talk about the two fights at the top of the bill there. And Deontay Wilder and Joseph Parker and uh, Joshua and Wallen. So I'll just start with a simple question. Who's got the toughest fight out with Joshua and Wilder? They both got very different fights, you know what I mean? Um, uh, Joshua's got a very classy, slick southpaw, you know, who moves well, boxes well. Um, uh, Yancey Wilder's got a very quick um, combination puncher that can, like, you know, that can basically sting you with his punches as well because he throws a lot. As well, so they both have very, very different different types of matchups. Um, both dangerous in their own way. So, yeah. So in terms of who's who's got the harder matchup, I, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Both of them have a very hard matchup. Can you see both of them getting through it, though? I mean, you've, you've shared the ring with Joseph Park. You went a distance with him, and you know what he's all about. You know what Deontay Wilder's all about in terms of the sparring. I'm sure you, I heard as well. You've done five camps with him, so you, you know Deontay Wilder, and I'll probably better than most other than Tyson Fury, maybe. And um, so when you look at that fight. You had the privilege again to share the ring with those two men. Can you pick a winner on that one? 
Uh, I won't, but I'll, 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 I'll just say I'll, I'll just say it'll be a good fight while it lasts. You know I what I mean? Yeah. You don't see it going the distance then? No. 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 Don't see it. Listen, obviously, this is a huge fight card. And I said it's heavyweight heavy, but this is a massive opportunity for you because Saudi Arabia seem to do massive things with the heavyweights. They seem to love heavyweights. We've just seen Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury. But we've got this card here. Then we've got the undisputed out in February with Fury and Usyk. But for you, this win against Frank Sanchez, who's highly rated, he's high up in all the sanctioning bodies, this is going to do wonders for your career. And uh, what does it do for your career, I suppose the question is. What, beating Frank Sanchez right now, what would that do for your career? Oh, it's, uh, you know, it's life-changing. Mm -hmm. It basically puts me in his spot, you know, which is a very favoured spot. And, you know, I'm, I'm just looking just to grab that with both hands. Massive opportunity. Can you stop him? Yeah. Oh, man, I'll, 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 I'll take the win. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll take the win by any means necessary and I'm prepared for it. Listen, Junior, thank you so much, brother. And I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks, man. Thank you. I'm fine.